So the next thing I'm going to do is work on a saturation adjustment that is based off of or controlled by a, uh, a color range mask. So I'm going to go ahead and load a uh, yellow color range as the source mask. And we can see it's picking up those yellows down in there where I want, but I'm going to expand that out quite a bit. So one, two, three times to really select those areas. And now I'm going to go to the layer menu and add that to a hue saturation adjustment layer. And with that mask controlling that hue saturation adjustment layer, I can bring up the uh, saturation and you can see how that's going to really bring out some of those oranges and yellows uh, down on the rocks and even back here on the shore in the background. If I want to, I could work with the hue a little bit to see. I don't want to go green, but I don't want to go too orange either. So I think maybe where that was was just fine. So we'll go there. Okay. So very small little subtle adjustment, but at this point that's kind of what we're doing. We're just working very small details within the image. I'm also going to create a blue color range mask and see if we can work with the uh, the colors in the in the water just a little bit more. So again, there's the mask of that blue color. Or I wonder if uh, maybe even cyan's better. Let's see. We'll try the cyan. Boy, let me see how that expands. So I'll expand out the cyan three times. And yeah, I like where that's going to be hitting within the uh, the water don't want to affect up in the sky at all so right now I'm just going to go ahead and take a black brush at a hundred percent opacity and just customize this mask by just painting out this upper area so that now when I load that into the mask of a hue saturation layer that's the mask I'll get so that's what we'll do next Actually, one other thing I may want to do before I do that is just run an auto levels on that. Yeah, and even just kind of pop the difference between the uh, the darks and the lights there. And it's also getting a little bit kind of grainy. So I could also give a little bit of a blur, maybe just like a slight blur to that to smooth out some of that grain that's in that mask. Okay, so now add that to a hue saturation adjustment layer and use that to let's see bring up the saturation and maybe also work with the hue there a little bit keeping it towards the aquamarine range not the not the blues as much okay and I may over push that a ways and then work with the opacity of that and get it right where I think I want it. That looks good.